in a situation with authorities can help homeless people, individuals rarely can solve the root issues and the root causes. But my issue is not to do with that. My name is Dan Grief and uh, I'm a dad who uses recreation grounds and children's play areas and it's shocking and disgusting. If you don't know already, that there's been a vandalistic attack that's happened at the Gun Hills Close play area. Uh, some of the brand new equipment has been burnt uh, by some vandals in the area. There's also uh, smashed bottles around the uh, entrance when children come in. Uh, equally, there is, um, I've been told, but I didn't know, drugs paraphernalia that I took pictures of around in the bushes. And I've heard of other residents saying on the doorstep about drug dealing happening in the area as well. So my question is about the allocation of police resources to this growing antisocial element that's happening there. Um, and from what I hear locally in other parts of Queen Elizabeth Ward, and also know of vandalism happening in Coleridge Ward, which is outside of this area, um, but potentially could be linked to similar individuals. Um, so I thought I'd put that to you. Any other members of the public questions for the officer before we move to councillors? Okay, that case dropped her recently. She was on the bus. Yes, I at least have a car, sometimes. So, yeah, the resource level is shocking. The, the, no, the boss likes our piece of on the bus. Oh, the visibility. The visibility, see yeah, okay. uh, yeah, Cheryl, Cheryl does have access to a car. She, she walks more miles. Don't get into a Fitbit competition with Cheryl. <laughs> um, no, the, the, the use of the bus and the public transport system is something that the, the chief inspector is very keen on, and it's certainly a conversation I had with him the other day. Okay, 